You guys know like the songs they're playing Marshalls and like TJ Maxx and stuff? You never know who's singing the motherfucking record, but you know that bitch playing the elevators and everywhere. So I said, I don't got an elevator song. <laughs> bitch, I want an elevator song. So I did this record called Run Don't Walk. I did the record with Claude Kelly and Chuck Harmony. And for you guys that don't know them, they're like some of the biggest and they're the best. But guess what? They moved to Nashville and they're currently writing country music. They're currently a group. They're out there working the circuit as African Americans in this field. So they've been determined. What they said to everybody, A&R's label, oh, that's our black Dolly Parton. And we're really not going to take that from her for you. So this is called Run, Don't Walk, Let's Crank It, because you know I'm bad at hearing. And let's crank it to the fullest. Let's go, <laughs> <laughs> records and everybody be like yay we're so proud of you but then like I was in BET and they was like y'all they was like soon soon as I did cable show that they know of and said oh okay I'm crazy like you fuck you whatever I had the whole room dancing you know what I'm saying I just know how to do that I know how to do that real well so crazy like you is a came show record and this record I did this record about this rapper named Rocco and that motherfucker <laughs> nigga when I tell you I thought this was the biggest gangster on the block okay and it was the softest nigga ever and the shit I went through because this was like my friend and went through it with him I was like See, you the type of nigga that make me go crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's what you are. And and you meet those dudes. And, yeah, I kind of was crazy on him. And that record is all about him. So he earned his place in the Fuck You K. Michelle songs. And then we can crank it up and not cut it off and cut up the mic. <laughs> Remember that day in December I know the girl You got a first time offender Pointing fingers like arrows When is you out with these hoes? Oh boy, you just don't know You make me wanna kill the one I'm with You got me popping pills So I don't feel shit From where I'm standing I'm convinced I didn't do it to myself You did it make this song cry and he gotta listen to it and he hates it cause we was like we was out at the end this girl's like you know gotta make the song cry let another nigga see me cry and then he was like oh you see this this is bad but you knew that every person I date or every friend I have there's a song okay you oh I wouldn't even play it you gonna play what you want to play today
keep on like trying to like get back for real, like to Kimberly. Like I plumped up my ass. I fucking just wanted a big ass. I wanted an ass larger than my personality. And it became heavy. Very heavy. Like even like health heavy. And people really don't talk about it. Like today alone, we I had to be at the orthopedic surgery. I just been having all health issues. And all because I wanted something that God did not give me. You know what I'm saying? I wanted what was in. I wanted the trend. That was the time I chasing the trend. I wanted a big ass and a little waist. To me, that was Bible. You know what I'm saying? Like, that make every nigga want you. You know what I'm saying? That make every nigga want you, but that don't make every nigga stay. You feel me? So, that, I went to that. I've seen all these doctors. So, one doctor said, okay, I'm not going to touch it no more. Then I said, sir, you got to touch it. Like, you got to do something. Then I went to another doctor, and it just shows you that you think you want some things. You don't really want those things, and you just see other people with them. Too. You had a big ass regardless. You had a nice ass that your mama gave you. Like everything that God put you on earth, you was equipped with before you got here. You was equipped with what it was. And we go and we don't want what we are given. We want what other people have. So now I got to go from doctor to doctor because I want me back. 